remain to go. So you're going to get a big sense in terms of uh, where the elections stand at the moment, how the NDA is faring, how the India bloc is uh, faring. And joining us today is a very special guest. He is not just the chief minister of one state who has a sense of his own state, but he has a good sense of the big picture as uh, well, joining us uh, this morning, Assam Chief Minister Himant Biswas Sarma, sir. Thank you so much for speaking today and uh, making time for us, sir. Where do the elections stand at the moment? What is your sense? First, to begin from Assam, because the Assam elections are over, is the NDA performing better than the last time round? I think uh, I have by now visited most of the state uh, and talked to my counterparts, got a sense. I think we are much ahead than the last year. I think we are already ahead by 25 to 30 seats than the last year. Okay. That's my sense. Okay. You're talking about the big picture. Yes. I am talking in entire country. So far as Assam is concerned, mm -hmm. of course, we have 14 seats. Right. We are eyeing for 12 seats. So let's see what happens. So the two seats, is this the Badruddin Azmal seat? I think, I think in Badruddin... In Badruddin Azmal seat, uh, Congress has advantage. Then we have two Muslim majority seats called Nogao and Karim Ganj. So out of that, uh, I am hopeful that we have given a tough fight in both the seats. We got almost 20% Muslim votes. Uh, it will have a photo finish. So you're saying you're gaining 20% Muslim votes in yes. Assam? Yes. In and Assam. how is that happening? Where is that happening? Uh, in Assam, in the first two phases, uh, we, my own assessment is that we have got 20 to 25% Muslim votes. Of course, in the last phase, that was in the lower Assam, uh, which is completely... Uh, in some seat, there are 100% Muslim, 95% Muslim. I think in those seats, our striking rate will be 10%. So in between 10 to 25% votes, we have added from Muslim minority. Okay. You know, as far as the big picture is concerned, you said early on that you're gaining about 25 to 30 seats. Where are you gaining these seats? I mean, uh, this time, hopefully, we are opening account in Kerala. We are going to make a good dent in Tamil Nadu. Then you see that Urissa, West Bengal. How many seats do you see in Tamil Nadu? I mean, if you if you want to, I I think I should not put seat wise, but just I am indicating you that our big gain will come from Andhra Pradesh. Our big gain will come from Telangana. Our big gain will come from Urissa. Our big gain will come from uh, West Bengal. Our gain, I am not putting the word big, our gain will come from Tamil Nadu, our gain will come from Kerala. We have even done better in Anman, Dadranagar, Haveli, South Goa. I think uh, we are on way to achieve the target set by the Prime Minister. Which is charged so far. Sar so far as NDA. This time NDA is much better safe than the last year. Because this, year, this time we have an additional partner in Andhra Pradesh, which we did not have last year. So in Andhra Pradesh we are going to form government as well as in parliament that NDA seats will come from there. So earlier we had a partner in Maharashtra and Bihar. But this time, NDA has been strengthened by its strong alliance partner in Andhra Pradesh. So this time, not only BJP stands to gain, in my own assessment, NDA also stands to gain. But Kejriwal says that NDA is not getting, BJP is not getting anywhere. The debate, the Republican and Democratic presidential candidate debates. Now, how Rahul Gandhi figure into that? Who is Rahul Gandhi? But he has just lost one seat, Amethi, last time. He fled away to Kerala, somehow he hold a seat. Now, what is his position in, uh, uh, I mean, in Congress party? But he does feature a lot in the BJP speeches, in no, the no. Prime Minister's I speeches, mean, okay. in the Home Minister's in, speeches, in your our, speeches. In our speeches, we do talk about Gandhi family because they have ruled the country for 60 years. But as on today, who is Rahul Gandhi? 
Why not you pitching for a debate between Nadaji and Khargeji? Why you people will, are... Will Nadaji no, come forward just, and have I'm, a debate no, no, with I'm Mr. Not, I am not the authority. I am talking about property of Mr. N. Ram. So that judge, Lokur, Justice Lokur. So on what capacity, on what ground, they are bringing the name of Rahul Gandhi. Did Rahul Gandhi utilize the parliament? He could have debated with prime minister in the parliament. He could have taken part in no confidence motion. He could have taken part in Manipur debate. He could have taken part in many other debates, like thanks to always the thanks motion on presidential speech. It is always answered by prime minister. He could have utilized Congress party's time, but did Congress party allot a time to him? Even Congress party knows that he cannot debate. So Congress party never allotted parliamentary, parliamentary time to Mr. Rahul Gandhi. So first you ask Congress party, that whether he is your prime speaker or not. Then if he is your prime speaker, then why you don't allot parliamentary time to him? So can you expect prime minister to go and debate with anybody? Okay. Now the Congress party is saying, this is something that you've mentioned in your speeches as well, very recently when campaigning outside of Assam as well, that the BJP wants Char Sopar in order to change the constitution because it has no, certain manifesto has agenda who items. Has in order to we, implement for, those like you see no no for us constitution is sacrosanct now you read the directive principle of the constitution of india constitution of india says that bring ucc so we need 400 plus seat to implement the directive principle of the constitution of india so who has said that we we want to amend the constitution indian constitution is a finest document just read the directive principle of state policy is the ditto reflection of BJP's ideology. You don't have to do anything. Whenever you have got time, I am sure you have read it many times, you just read directive principle of the state policy and sign in our constitution. That is ditto. Gandhi's philosophy reflected in that part of the constitution. Ambedkar's philosophy ideology is reflected in that part of the constitution and we 100% follow that. We don't have to amend the constitution also. We never amended the constitution. Congress has amended 80 times. For us, the constitution is Gita. For us, constitution is Bhagavad. You don't have to do anything. You just implement the directive principle of state policy. What about the citizens of the country? Now, what the Congress is saying and what it appears, you have claimed Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, but much of the campaign now seems or it appears like you're alienating the minorities, the yes. Muslim community. Yes. You're saying that these are individuals, these yes. are infiltrators who are going to take away no, no. your wealth. Follow me. You have to distinguish when you said the minority community. We are alienating whom? Who married three wives? We are alienating whom? Who encourage in child marriage? We are alienating whom? Who enjoy when India got defeated in the hands of Pakistan? We are alienating whom? Who has direct nexus with the militancy of this country? So Prime Minister is all for Muslim community. He has said that there are no, many no, no. people within the Muslim community who has been deprived. Who is the biggest beneficiary of Prime Minister's welfare program? You put a RTI and try to assess the data. Most of the PM Abbas has gone to the Muslim community. PM Free Rise has gone to the Muslim community. Muslims are the biggest beneficiary of Prime Minister's welfare program. But when it comes to certain ideology, when it comes to sovereignty of this country, when it comes to asmita of this country, you cannot, you cannot give them bonus primarily because they are from minority community. Why you enjoy when India got defeated? Why, why you indulge in polygamy? Why you indulge in child marriage? So nation has to speak and we are speaking directly what directly principle of state policy in the constitution is saying that you cannot have personal laws in this country. What Congress is saying in the manifesto, that we are going to respect, promote personal law. Is it not against the Ambedkar's philosophy? Is it not against the Gandhi's philosophy?
what they are saying. You forget the constitution and you are saying something which constitution directly attack. Our constitution says that you cannot have personal laws. Here it is a secular country, you have to have a common civil laws. Now Congress is destroying the constitution of this country. Congress is going on Medka's philosophy. When constitution has says that you will give reservation on religion basis. Why they are, within Muslim there are caste who deserve to be in OBC. Put them in OBC. But can you make generally Muslim into, a, into give them into a reservation? Cutting the quota from OBC? So why not this, why not in the, in the platform you speak, why you are defying Mahatma Gandhi? Why you are defying Baba Sahib Ambedkar? But Rahul Gandhi is saying that it is the center which wants to end reservation altogether yeah, because where? it's taking away in terms of public sector units. It's uh, ending I'm, with a privatization. I mean, Government me. jobs follow are going me. to go away. Follow me. Rahul Gandhi is not OBC. Narendra Modi is OBC. How many chief ministers is there from Congress party from OBC and count BJP? Count the how many central ministers are there in the central cabinet from SD and SC. For past three decades, Congress party has not made a civil tribe even a minister. Why people like Jagjibon Ram quit Congress party? So Rahul Gandhi cannot create history. You have to see history as it is. Who has ousted Jagjibon Ram from the Congress party? Is it me? Is it Narendra Modi? Why you have not a single ST, SC, OBC as a chief minister in any states of this country? Why not a caste census? That's what caste they're census, asking. We did. Bihar, who did the caste census? We did the caste census in Bihar. Are you, when, are you ready for a national yes, caste census? Yes, there is no problem. You go for national caste census, but at the same time, you must have the courage that Muslim also need caste census. Muslim is not a monolith caste. They do not have a monolith caste. They have a monolith religion. But within Muslim there are caste. So why Rahul Gandhi speaks about Hindu caste census? Why not he speaks about Muslim caste census? Let there be caste census across the board. Let there be a caste census among the Christian. How many Catholics are there? How many Baptists are there? How many Evangelics are there? Let there be caste census in Christian also. So across communities, the yeah, BJP you, you is, for that. is what, completely what, on board what is if there harm? was to be a caste if census. You, if you go for a Muslim caste census, if you go for a Christian caste census, BJP's views are very clear. Nitish Kumar, as NDA chief minister, has done the caste census. It could not have been done without the approval of prime minister. At that point of time, BJP supported the caste census. Caste census means what? How many people belongs to which caste? Hmm. What is harm on them? But you do not do it only with Hindu. Do it with Muslim also. Do it with Christian also. So you spoke about chief ministers. A very interesting thing that Arvind Kejriwal said yesterday where he said that uh, the BJP sidelines those who work hard for the party. This includes uh, former chief ministers like Vasundra Raja Sindhya, like Shivrat Singh what? Chauhan, who won Madhya Pradesh but was not Follow made chief me. minister again. What? What? Let me just complete. Huh. He says Yogi Adityanath will be removed two months but, later but, if the BJP were to come I mean, to power now. I mean, is, uh, I mean, Arbin Kejriwal still believe he is within Tihajir. He is talking like a criminal. The chief minister of BJP, who will be changed, who will not be changed, how he knows? Has he had direct communication with prime minister? He talks to home That was my colleague Paul Saha in an exclusive conversation with the chief minister of the state of Assam, Himant Viswasarma, who is now saying Arvind Kejriwal only hurt people in Tihar, those people who were sent there by Prime Minister Modi and that's why he's come out and he's saying NDA will not be winning. We are now wrapping up.